What's up Hans family and welcome to another video in the lovely Hansween. Today's video is going to be on this pop art kind of cell shaded Wonder Woman. Last year I did do a Harley Quinn that was in this style and I really want to do Wonder Woman because obviously she's a badass bitch and I want to be a badass bitch. Who the fuck doesn't? I'll show you how to do the makeup, the costume, everything. It'll all be listed below as well. Let's get into it. Okay, starting by putting my hair up in a cute little sassy bun and putting in contacts, because I gotta see. Picking up the Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer. I'm just gonna put this all over my face and body as a nice base to have down before our makeup. I also take the opportunity to draw a couple little fun shapes, because why not? This is the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. They have such a huge range of shades, so it's really fucking awesome. And you can build the coverage from light to heavy, so I'm just putting this on a beauty blender Mainly focusing on my face, nothing really on my body quite yet, and I'm in the shade 6, which is vanilla. Now that our mid-tone is down, which is pretty much our foundation, we want to highlight the face. This is the Makeup Forever HD Concealer in a super light as fuck color. Putting it right onto my skin to the high points of my face and blending that out with a beauty blender. You don't really have to do too much to your body if you don't want, but I wanted to brighten up my collarbones just un poquito. All of this does need to be set, so this is the NYX Radiant Finishing Powder. I've actually just started using it and I like it a lot. It has like the tiniest bit of shimmer in it, but just enough to kind of balance out all of your color. And now to put dimension back into our face that we just evened out with foundation and concealer, I'm taking this new contour face and eye palette from NYX, mixing these two shades together to start out my contour of my face, kind of bringing it down around my mouth a little bit to make myself look a little more hollow and not quite as moon-faced. And I realized, why are you so far away? Come, come on closer. Come closer a little bit. I dispense most of the color in the line that I want it and then soften my application of my brush to blend out the contour so I get a nice soft gradient. Make sure to give yourself a little kissy face to see exactly where the hollows of your cheeks are. And I was now slightly looking at a picture of Gal Gadot for some of her features to kind of darken mine to look a little bit like hers, a little slimmer of a nose, but um, I look approximately nothing like her and she is so beautiful, so I just more so decided to accentuate my own. But just by adding a few little touches of her, by bringing in where the bridge of the nose, hers goes in a little deeper than mine, so adding a little shadow here and there. But you can just stay to how you normally would contour. This will just be good for the end because it'll add depth behind all the dots and the lines and shit that we put down. Same with my body too. Trying to get a, <laughs> get a good shape where my collarbones are popping out, but it's a little difficult for me. But finally, finally I find them. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Pop those out a little, darken around them, into the little hollow of your neck. I even decide to contour up my, uh, my boobies, even though, holy fucking Christ, in the end, they are so large, it's a little scary. I look like I am about to feed children. But fuck it, so I just add plenty of shadow around the circular curves of where my boobs are going to be up and popping. After you're all good there, still using the same two brown shades just to deepen out the crease of my eye a little bit. Her makeup's super, super simple, so I just wanted a little bit of darkness to the eyes. And then going straight into my color white paint for Makeup Forever, and really quick, look at this. It's a new one, nice and clean. I got it for Makeup Forever when I was just recently with them. This is my old one, and whew, it is loved, it is dirty and used, and so we're gonna go with the new one. This is just to lightly dab on a little bit more of an intense highlight. 
I'm not doing it too much, just the tiniest bit. Even though we already did highlight with the light concealer, this white just helps that to pop a little more. Finally, now we are on to the actual pop art aspect of the look. To make the white dots, I am going to be using a water activated paint, which is from Mayron. You just add a little bit of water and they get nice and creamy and then they set dry and matte so you don't need to worry about them. They won't rub off if you touch them. I mean, maybe if you were like really rubbing, but you should be good. I use a circular brush and just kind of dab on where I want the dot and then circle it around the tiniest bit to get a perfect circle. And I don't do it over the entire body. I really like the look of small little clusters here and there, kind of cascading around. Again, focusing a little bit on some of the highlights where I put down, but a couple little clusters just all over. Wherever you think will look pretty as it flows on the body. Getting so swept up in the moment of dots, I forgot blush, so I added a little bit from the NYX palette on my cheeks. And for the lipstick, I did want to just go with a simple nude. I feel like a red would have been a more traditional Wonder Woman, and this is kind of the newer Wonder Woman, so... This nude was just perfect. And just like everything else, I didn't want it to just be that one color. I did want to outline it a little bit and give more of an ombre effect. So I'm taking this darker lip liner just to outline the lips and blend it in slightly. You can even overline if you want those big O DSLs. For the eyebrows, I kept them super simple, just very straight to the point. Pretty much stayed to my own shape and filled them in just a little bit. We're going to be drawing over them later anyways, so this was just to add a little bit of color to them so they weren't quite as sparse. All right, now here, here's where shit gets real. This is my favorite part of the tutorial. Using inspiration from pop art and games like Borderlands, which is one of my favorite games in the entire fucking planet, I wanted to create this cool style that's dimensional but also 2D at the same time. Using the black body paint, which is still the water activated paint, I start to sketch out where my features are and to line out my entire body as a whole as well. And instead of just drawing lines where the features are, which is pretty traditional, I'm using these little hatching marks to add where the shadow is too. Basically anywhere that you would want to have kind of a contour or where it would go deeper into your face naturally, you want to add these little hatch lines that would come down to show in a two-dimensional sense where a shadow would be. Doing this coming from underneath the chin or where the deepness of the collarbones would be gives this really cool sketchy kind of look too, like it's, we just popped out of a comic book. Keep adding a few small lines here and there to show where some of your features would be. And with the eyebrow, I'm just outlining it and then adding a few little hairs, especially at the front, kind of blending into the tail of the brow. It just helps add to that drawn out sketched illusion that we're going for. If you're confused too where to put any of the lines, just look at reference pictures, look up the game Borderlands, look up different pop arts. It'll really help you out onto where exactly to put some of the lines. The eyes are no different than anything else. I'm still using the water activated paint and so if you are wearing this out as a costume, I would suggest switching now to a waterproof eyeliner. Just drawing on some little bottom lashes and a wing liner so we can cut some people. And since the darker areas to me just didn't look quite dark enough, I wanted a little more shadow, I dipped into that brown once again, just to deepen a little bit with the fluffy brush. Focusing more on one side of my face, because I really like when looks are darker on one side than the other. Especially when it comes to something kind of two-dimensional, where it looks like a light is shining from just one area. This part isn't a necessity, but since it was so artsy, kind of painterly looking, I did grab the white paint and just draw on some regular brush strokes on the high points of the face and body a little bit and went straight into outlining the lips. And just like the eyes, you want to switch to either a liquid liner or even a liquid lipstick that's black that'll stay on better. Just because since these are water activated, if you're drinking and maybe drinking a lot, it will bleed all over. So taking something that will stay long wear onto your lips is a much better option. I also have a full pop art lips tutorial too that I'll link down below if you want a little more in-depth look at how to do these. 
pop on your favorite lashes, you fucking know I went with risque. Those are my shit. And then just outline the rest of your body. So we want to look like we are popping from a page, so obviously we would be completely outlined around us in black. This does dry down, but you want to really layer it and set it with a good setting powder over the high movement areas where you're really like bending your arms a ton and shit. I got this costume from Costume Super Center and I put on the little headpiece and obviously I wanted the costume to blend in with the whole look itself. The costume is just kind of comes normal, so I outline every single thing in black body paint. You could do this off yourself in regular acrylic paint if you'd like. And add a few little highlights here and there and some white dots just so that it's completely cohesive with the pop art look. And now same with the costume, it's so easy, the pattern's already there for you, all you have to do is follow the lines with black paint, add your little hatch lines here and there, and a couple highlights in between. And that's the entire look, all you have to do is paint down onto your legs, or you can even get a pair of leggings and paint those first, just so that you don't have to worry about your legs, like having to set them with paint and everything. I really hope you guys love it, and thank you so, so, so much for watching. You can follow me on all of the other social medias that I have. They're all Jordan Hans, except for Snapchat. Someone had Jordan Hans already. That piece of shite. Let me know what you guys think down below, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Just another reminder, too, that I am nominated for Creative Makeup Artist of the Year for the American Influencer Awards, and you can vote for me to win if you would like. All information will be down below. I just love the absolute fuck out of you guys. I can't wait to show you what's next, and I will see you the day after tomorrow. Bye!